How's it going guys? Today we're gonna to be doing some shipped and we're gonna be discussing my new strategy for gig work while Instacart is just not doing well. We're gonna be experimenting and I have a new plan that we're gonna put into place and hopefully we're gonna make some money. Technically I did it last week and we did pretty good. For now we're gonna do a couple of orders so skip to this timestamp if you're just here for that. But if you guys want to watch me do some shipped orders, then stay tuned. There is a promo today. If we do eight orders, we will get $60 on top of everything else. So I already have one done out of the way, and we just got our second one on the other side of town. Hopefully, whenever we do the second order, I can just stay over there and not put that many miles in my car because gas prices, they're just ouch. So our order looks very simple. That's all it is. Just one person, and they're only probably like five miles away. Pretty close drop off which is what we want to save that gas money. So with that being said, I'm gonna go head over to that HEB, shop this order, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. We made it to HEB. Alright guys, so we just dropped off that order. Everything went pretty smooth. We only had to do like two replacements and other than that, it was very easy. And now we're waiting for our next order. So we have two out of eight done. So it's probably gonna be a pretty long day. With that being said, let's cut to the question of the video. This is a new segment, so tell me how this goes. All right, so today's comment is gonna be from the GigTube podcast dude. You guys probably know who he is. Anyways, this was his response to my last community tab post. Here it is, I'm not gonna read it, but pause here if you need to. Anyways, he said they need to bring back the heat map so you know which stores are fire and which are probably trash. I, the emoji's not loading for me. They could also steal a page from Uber and Lyft and show how many other drivers are in queue for that store so you know which place you are in line. Oh, and purging the bots would be nice. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, that sounds really nice. It would be really cool if the app was actually transparent like the CEO says they want to be, but it's just a mystery. We have no idea what the algorithm is doing right now, and it is really hard to wait for these batches all day. It's just, it's not a thing anymore. Anyways, let's uh, get back to the content. So we just got our third order, and it is at Target. Target's growing on me, because they actually label things really well on the app. Like, if you guys look here, it has the aisle numbers and everything. And this order is also prepaid, which means I get to skip all the lines and go straight to self-checkout and go to like the special counter and they just look at my items and they're like, yep, you're good to go. So they're really easy and this delivery is not even a mile away. It's at an apartment complex within walking distance. So we're going to go bang this order out. It's only like seven items. Super easy. Okay, so we just finished shopping that order. It was prepaid, so we're in and out of there really fast. Only one replacement, and we have a two minute drive. That's what we wanna see. You can never guess the right side. All right, three out of eight orders done. We're almost halfway there. And of course I don't see any orders yet, so it's gonna slow down a little here. So it's probably a good time to talk about my strategy on how I'm still trying to make money while Instacart is on its way out. So let's talk about the new strategy that I'm gonna be implementing to see if it makes money still. This might be something you'll be interested in trying. I did this last week and it seemed to work out pretty well. But basically my plan is I'm gonna be doing shipped on weekends. So any day that there's a shipped promo, I'm gonna be only doing shipped. Lately, I've been getting $60 promos for completing eight orders. Sounds like a lot of work, but these are smaller orders. I could just do any order I want. I don't have to do a huge heavy Costco order. All I'm doing is just picking up like 10 items from Target for the most part. Last week, this worked out really well because it was Memorial Day weekend and we made a lot of money. Today, I'm hoping that we still hit 200, but we're only halfway to our goal and it's probably gonna take a lot of time to get there, but it's still gonna be worth it in the end, I think. I was actually able to take an extra day off last week because I worked more hours on the weekends, so it was kinda nice. I just worked longer days, but less days total. So any other day where there's no shipped promo, I'm out there doing Instacart. Mondays usually are pretty good for Instacart, and lately I haven't had promos for shipped on Mondays. So sometimes what I'll do if Instacart gets really slow is I'll do the Costco drop in the morning, and try and get an order that goes back near my house. Then I'll do shipped later at night because shipped is pretty busy right after dinner. 
So that has been my game plan. It's been working all right for me. And hopefully you guys could try it out in your area. Maybe it'll be even better, might be worse, who knows. So on today's lunch review, we got some homemade Lunchables. So we have some crackers from Trader Joe's and then some cheese and ham, keeping it nice and cheap, but also very delicious. All right guys, so we ended up going back to Target hoping for another order and we ended up just walking around the store for like an hour. We finally got a really small Target order, but it's a lot more miles than I would like. But it's kind of quiet right now, so I just took something. It was a little awkward. I texted the number on Shipped and it went to this person's family member. So they were like, I'm sorry, but you have the wrong number. So I, I just told them the name that I was shopping for and sure enough, it was a family member. So she gave me the actual person's phone number. We'll see, hopefully they gave me the right address. It's their first order too, so I'm a little worried about that. That being said, we have a 17 minute delivery and then we'll just be waiting for another order. But the good news is we'll be halfway done. All right, so we just got our fifth order at Target, of course. It's a pretty easy order. Again, delivering at an apartment complex like a mile away. So that's really nice. We're gonna keep the miles down a bit. The only bummer is there's like no service over here. So it's really hard to find the next order. So I might just go in Target and use their Wi-Fi again. All right, so that order actually is probably the smoothest order of the day. It's all right there. I'm gonna go drop this order off really fast and then we're gonna go back to my house and wait for my next order because we're only five minutes away and I'll have Wi-Fi and I won't be dealing with all this no signal stuff. All right guys, so we just got our last three orders. Shipped seems to do really well at night like I was saying. So it is like 6.15 and all the orders are rolling in. We just got a CVS order that we're gonna go do and then after that one, we're gonna go do a double target order and that'll be all we need as long as there wasn't a promo, which I'm making sure, yeah. I don't see a promo, so we should be good. Last time I did this, I accidentally took a batch of the promo, so it didn't count towards my like eight batches for the $60. That wasn't fun. But yeah, my CVS order is gonna be a lot of fun. I have to go buy plan B for someone, which I guess it makes sense to use ship for that. I've never had to buy this, so this will be entertaining. Not sure if I have to go ask someone for that or what. So yeah, wish me luck, guys. I even changed, put on the ship shirt to make sure people didn't think it was for me. I don't know, I'm way too self-conscious. Anyways, I'm gonna go do this order. Um, sounds uh, important, if you know what I mean. We've arrived. That should be fun. Yo, CVS, you gotta chill on these receipts. I thought it was just meme material, but your receipts are way too long for one item. That being said, we got the order shopped. I didn't have to go behind the counter, but I did have to like get this box unlocked so like everyone could see what I was getting. Luckily, not many people are there and I just made sure to wear the ship shirt, made sure to look like I was on my phone, obviously shopping for someone else, you know? And um, yeah, the lady at the counter, she knew that I was with ship, so it wasn't too awkward. But yeah, that stuff is expensive, $50. Jeez. I'm gonna go drop this off and then we're gonna go to Target, go get those orders done, and then we're gonna go home, finally get some dinner. Uh, 100 degrees, this is like the evening. It's not even midday. This is it cooling down. All right, so there is the first order. The other order is in the back seat to keep them separate. Of course, always parking next to the cart thing. This order actually went pretty smooth. And um, these drop-offs are gonna be really close to my house. So as long as there wasn't a promo attached to these orders, which I don't think there was, we should be at our eight orders for the day in just under eight hours. I've received two tips so far, so we're gonna cross our fingers that other people are kind and tip. If we get a bunch of tips in today, we should be around 200. That's the goal. Alrighty guys, eight out of eight orders complete. We're right in around seven and a half hours of work. And keep in mind, earlier today, I waited for an entire hour for an order, and that was just one of the times I waited for an order. Most of the actual orders I completed were very simple. Nothing was over like 20 items today. Unfortunately, with shipped, I have to get back to you in a couple of days or maybe tomorrow to go over my tips 
just because they take a little bit of time to roll in, but I'm pretty confident we're gonna be really close to 200. Today was very busy, so I was concentrating on shipped more than the actual vlog, so I'm sorry for that. Hopefully this video still turns out to be somewhat decent. Like always, I appreciate all of your support. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the office. All right guys, it's only been one day so far. I don't think we have all of our tips quite in yet, but we have the majority of them in. In total, we made $191. We only drove 98 miles too, so that's almost $2 per mile, which I think is pretty good. If you guys wanna convert that into an hourly rate, if you guys divide 191 by the seven and a half hours that we worked, we made right around $25 per hour, which is amazing. This was a weekend, so this is kinda as good as it gets. The rest of this week probably won't be quite as nice, but hopefully we can get close to this because that is a very nice hourly wage. Even if you guys subtract a dollar or two for gas, we're still above 20 an hour, which sounds good to me. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any video ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really looking for some new stuff to film for you guys right now involving gig content. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.